Hey Taurus, this is your Mercury retrograde forecast. We're looking at the energies that lie ahead for the next few weeks, starting August 23rd, 2023. And we are going to dig into the overall themes and then some specific predictions and guidance for you for this period. Yeah. <laughs> um, we also, you could cross watch if you're Taurus sun, moon rising, or Mercury. And you can go ahead and watch the videos for your other signs and placements too. I'm also offering personal readings via Zoom and recorded. And you can find the link in the description box. So to start, we have Mercury, Taurus, and the 10th house coming up for you. So we have your sign on the table. We have Mercury on the table. And we have the 10th house, which is the house of career, of legacy, of reputation. And so it feels like a lot of focus for you is going into those areas. You may be kind of revising and reimagining your career, your future, the vision that you have for your path. And in terms of the tarot, we have the Ace of Cups, the Four of Pentacles in reverse, the Emperor in reverse, and the Two of Cups in reverse. So I'm seeing this sort of like maybe an, a feeling of inspiration or a feeling of excitement related to um, a project or even a relationship. But then I'm seeing that it's sort of challenging. It's challenging your fundamental nature because Aries, which is connected to the Emperor, can be a difficult energy for Taurus. And with the Two of Cups, it does feel like this could have to do with an important relationship in your life that's really not going according to plan. And it feels like there's a need to release control that's ultimately coming up with this Mercury retrograde. And so that can be challenging for Taurus. Taurus likes to grasp hold of things. Taurus likes to kind of stick to what it knows, but it feels like there's an energy of change and potentially evolution that could be challenging that for you. With the Page of Swords coming up, the Five of Wands in reverse, the Lovers in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse, I want to say that the Lovers in reverse was adamant about coming out because I shuffled it back in and it came out again in the reverse position again. So there's an energy of choice and potentially this could be related to a Gemini person. Maybe you're needing to make a significant choice in work, in career, in friendship, in love. With the Page of Swords, it feels like there's a lot of conversation happening, and this could be more chaotic or even like fiery conversation. So with the Five of Wands in reverse, though, I do see that ultimately it feels like you kind of lay down the conflict and decide to chill out, maybe decide to kind of retreat. Um, make sure to not be avoidant in the face of conflict, but rather just to take the time that you need to kind of think things through, to reflect. And ultimately, if you need to have an important conversation and it can wait, it's not time sensitive, you're not holding out on someone, then doing that maybe after Mercury goes direct closer to mid-September, September 15th and onward would be a great idea for you. Finally, with the Knight of Cups upright, we do have this energy of someone coming in who might be attractive, who might be interesting, who might be kind of offering you a cup of love in some way. This could be a new person. It feels like for most of you it is. But the Knight of Cups is often connected to the sign of Scorpio. So Scorpio people can be significant, um, but really any of the water signs, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, could be meaningful here. I think I already mentioned the zodiac signs for the most part, um, but I don't know, I'm getting kind of like a, there's a little bit of chaos energy here. There's a little bit of needing to be patient, of needing to kind of put one foot in front of the other and to be thoughtful about the choices you're making instead of leaping in. There's a need to kind of pull back and be conscious of the way that you're expressing yourself in relationships because this is a complex time in terms of communication and in terms of relating with people and often with friends. Mercury is connected to friendship often. So just be thoughtful, um, invest your energy wisely, stay away from needless conflict when you can, <laughs> and um, get your priorities straight. You know, take rest, um, be thoughtful about kind of what's in front of you and, and try your best to not overcomplicate things. Okay. Kind of hectic, kind of hectic energy, to be honest, but I think you're going to be okay. If you're interested in a personal reading, again, you can find the link in the description box. I'm offering Zoom and recorded readings, and if this was valuable for you, please do like, comment, subscribe, share it with a Taurus friend, and you can go ahead and listen to the other placements you have 
Most of them should be posted by now because I'm going backwards, but Aries will be up soon. Okay, take care, Taurus. Bye.